Hi guys, Mike Reed here. This is my ultimate hardcore Iron Man series. This is episode 11. No Bank Guru is now unlocking shifting tombs and is able to actually level up dungeoneering and stuff. So let's get right into it. 40 agility and we've barely done any of it, lovely. It's what we like to see. Time to do our god statue. Should be a decent amount of XP. I'm gonna choose putting into Slayer, not Prayer, because Prayer is much easier to level in my opinion. I know Slayer's easy to level, but the early levels of Slayer are horrible. If I can power level my combat up and go straight to Shiloh Village or something, it's gonna help so much and he requires 50 Slayer. So the more help I can get towards that, the better. Also gonna get me some construction XP, which I'm not gonna argue with. Level 40 Slayer, very nice. We're getting a decent amount of XP, 1,585 total level. That's pretty nice. 61 construction coming in, 41 Slayer as well. Nice gains. Oh man, I love monthlies and weeklies. They're just too good. We've done our troll invasion. Our reward book is getting put into Herblore and there is 59 Herblore. That gave us 26k XP. We're 100 XP away from 60. Nice. That moment when we never ever fed the oyster. So I think it's just been sitting here for a month unfed. At least we get some free experience though. Farming XP and fishing XP, but we don't get any loot until next month. Feels bad. <laughs> Penguin time. Hello, Bush. Give me my penguin points. We're going to put all of that into Herblore as well. Level 60 Herblore, 11.9k XP. Lovely. So I should have done this a long time ago, to be fair. I should have been helping Meg this whole time. But I'm going to help Meg get a huge XP lamp. Don't even need a 90 skill. You don't have to have ports unlocked. You just go there, speak to Meg. You don't actually need to do ports. You just need to speak to Meg. Answer her questions and say you'll help her. Look at the prices of all of the weapons. We've got 3k for the still. 200 for the black, 5k for the myth, 6k for the addy. I'm just gonna buy all of the black stuff as I can and just disassemble it and try and get as many sharp components as I can. Daily in Emily Forest, and never lets you down. 54 prayer coming in, lovely, lovely, lovely. Furnace 2 for our hatchet, that is a lot more XP, I like that. It was time to train some hunter and I just done it with swamp lizards. They're an easy way to train up until you get to the higher tier skill chompers. Pretty decent, consistent XP, especially when you get 40 Hunter and you can lay three traps at once. I can also disassemble them for some parts. 40 Hunter, there we go, three traps at once. Now that will speed up things quite nicely. There we go, there is 40 Thieving as well. So I'm probably just going to go do some range training. Time to buy myself a nice charge bro, and then we're going to go kill the trolls to get to level 40. These trolls should give us an okay amount of experience an hour. We're only getting to 40 here, so it shouldn't take too long. There we go, level 40 range. So now let's go do those butterflies in Dungeoneering. Might be able to get level 40 Dungeoneering as well. Then we're nearly 40 plus, just need invention. Oh, so happy, that's awesome. 40 Dungeoneering, great. So we just got our 80 woodcutting. We've siphoned our dragon hatchet twice already and it's level four. So we're just gonna keep siphoning the dragon hatchet. We're gonna need to siphon it quite a few times to get to our goal of 60, but it's a nice chill way of doing it in between everything else that I'm doing on other accounts and everything like that. So perfect type of thing to level up our invention with. We don't have anything that we can augment armor wise or whatever. We could go barrows maybe. We could do that later on if needs to be. But uh, for now, this is a good way of doing it. What well, we're gonna get 42 Slayer, nearly 43 as well. Now we gotta go get another Reaper now that we've done our giant mole giant mole six souls okay six souls is so much better than 12 so that's not too bad there is level 43 slayer 400 xp away from 44 that's pretty nice awesome double giant mole reaper not bad look it's beautiful junk chance reduction let's get some junk chance reduction so when we go do the swamp lizards to get 46 hunter we will be able to get more crafted components because it won't just give me junk 24 7. it still will but not quite as much okay there is 46 hunter we can now do viridian skill chompers there we go the feud is complete we got our 15,000 thieving xp we got our blackjack and we can now cost volunteers and everything so we are 43 thieving got three levels from that which isn't too bad gotta do from tiny acorns then i need to do the other one after that lost her marbles i think i can cost after this i'm not 100 sure but i think i can from tiny acorns are done this is definitely the caper that takes the most amount of time getting all of these flame fragments from all of these different things level 44 thieving just from doing the caper so far we currently have 23 out of 32 of the fragments and we're getting called 24 7 by this lovely master farmer all 32 of our flame fragments let's go complete that caper yay 
I forgot he gives you things. It might actually be some good stuff to disassemble. There we go, maple logs and teak logs. I'll take that. We get some stone spirits, which I guess don't matter. Yeah, swordfish and lobsters, not bad. 45 at thieving as well, decent. Good, good, good. Now we can go kosh volunteers. Rubber blackjack. Time to kosh these volunteers. Knock out. One, two, three. There we go. That's the rhythm. One, two, three. There we go. We are level 50 thieving. That didn't take long at all. We'll come back here later on and get 62 for safe cracking. But for now, 50 is good enough. The only skill we have super low now that's low and the same level as Dungeoneering is now range. So we need to find a way to do that. And agility. There we go. 41 agility off to the agility pyramid to see how that goes. Oh no, I fell. Great. <laughs> this is great. I love falling. It's good XP though. It's actually better XP and I fell anyway. So it's going okay. It's going okay. Oh, can we do it? We got to go on this one, right? So that should be fine. But now I'm not going to go to that one. I'm going to go to this one. Oh, sick. 50-50, go. No, last one. Stupid mini game, dude. I got some agility XP for it though, even though I fouled, but stupid mini game. There's 42 agility. We're moving up in the world. We need to get to 48 for Apatol. We're, we're nearly there, right? This isn't slow at all. For training up my range, I am doing it on the ogres here in this like cage because they can't hit you and you can safe spot them. You do splash here and there, but you don't splash too much and they're very easy to kill and give some good XP. There is level 47 range coming in. There is another level 10 dragon hatchet go. 41 invention unlocked perfect that gives us four more blueprints as well we can't do the cave goblin one but we can do these three so that's three more things to discover for some more xp as well lovely 19 levels to go for our goal of 60 first ever barrow's loot on the armor hardcore give me something good uh we get some chaos and blood runes but do we even need those i guess so and we didn't get anything of a great value we'll just take those out again and run back through we got a Dara's Playbody on our full flute, I think that was. Third or full flute. That's actually awesome. I can, I can, I can trade up invention. I can trade up invention with melee combat. Bolt rack sell for 126 each. That's pretty insane. Wow, that was so bad. Okay. Thanks, game. That's our Barrow's Reaper done. 45 Slayer. All right, let's do it. 47, maybe even 48 if I get lucky. I think it'll be close to 48. I don't think it'll quite get us to 48. 47, 4k away from 48. Pretty damn good. I am happy. All right, let's get myself some Dungeoneering gains. Let's go. Give me some Dungeoneering XP for the resource dungeon. Perfect. 1.1k. Not bad. Now let's go to the next dungeon, I guess. Level 48 to Dungeoneering. Lovely. 8k to another level. Don't think we'll get it with resource dungeons. So all of the resource dungeons got us 1.2k away from 49. Free Jack of Trades should be able to get us to 50. And we can try some shifting tombs. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm kind of excited. Put this in here. Oh, I'm definitely going to get 50. Nice. I could get it in one more Jack of Trades run. There's 49 and one more Jack of Trades run will get me to 50. Level 50 Dungeoneering. I have now unlocked Shifting Tombs. Lovely. That moment when you really want to go into Shifting Tombs, you need to go get two more agility levels. I don't want two more agility levels. I just want to do Shifting Tombs. 50 agility, boy. We did it. I actually have all of the skills to 50 now. It's not a lie. I can actually do this. Let's go do some Shifting Tombs. It's got to be higher than one. Let's go. Nine. Perfect. Lower. All right. Sounds good. Go. That's going to give me a five. One. All right. <laughs> Let's keep doing that. Okay, next. Four. More chance of being higher. Let's give it a try. In before two. No way I just called that. Woo. Love it. Good game. <laughs> I hate my life. Doing shifting tombs is pretty simple. I have a guide that I'll leave in the description to this video on how to actually do shifting tombs. There's a couple of things like sarcophagi that you have to unlock and you just got to get corruption, chests and sarcophagi as the goals. Once you've got all of those goals, whether you're doing it solo or as a team, you then go to the exit, leave, get a big burst of XP and repeat the process. You also get a lot of secondary XP for breaking the vases and it gives you corruption so you want to do that as much as possible. It's actually given me a hell of a lot of prayer XP and it's given me some dungeoneering, some agility and it's all helpful, all adds up. Might not be the fastest experience now in a specific skill but because I'm getting it in so many different ones, 
Feels quite efficient to do on my Iron Man at least. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna stop getting agility XP here at 65 though and just focus on Dungeoneering. Because agility at 65 I can just do the bikes. I would do the wilderness course or something but obviously Hardcore Iron Man limits that. So best just to do this until bikes and then fully focus on Dungeoneering XP after that. Should be pretty good, should be pretty good. I'm actually enjoying Shifting Tunes as well, it's quite fun. Well, I'm going to pop one of these. It's going to get us to 47 Slayer. Let's go. 47 Slayer without even doing a Slayer task. Look at that. My HP is very low again, so I need to be careful. Let's uh, not click any more of those because I'm scared. It may not be the fastest experience an hour, but my god, it's consistent and it's nice. I'm enjoying this. Nearly level 53 agility as well. 53 dungeoneering. 59 prayer. Going well. There we go. Level 60 prayer. Nice. That's a good one. Nemi Forest is going to help prayer as well, so that's perfect. At level 81 woodcutting, you can do overgrown idols, which are a bit better than ivy to AFK for XP. All you gotta do is cut the roots around the idols. So you cut the roots on the edge. Once they're down, you push into the middle and cut all the roots around that idol. Once all those roots around that idol are clear, you can actually get the idol itself, which gives even more woodcutting XP and gives you a buff when you finish it. It's super AFK. These vines take a while to chop down. They give you a decent amount of experience an hour. Faster than Ivy. I think it's about 20k more than Ivy. Pretty damn good. Pretty consistent. Very, very AFK and just how I want it when I'm training my invention. So I'm going to do these all the way to 60 invention now. Siphon in my dragon hatchet as much as possible. We're currently sitting at 41 invention. I need 64 machines. 19 levels to go and we'll try and get that as fast as possible. As you can see, I cleared all of the vines around the idol. That means I can chop the idol itself. The idol has a HP bar. Once that's gone, it then explodes and gives you a buff. Typically, it's 5% more woodcutting XP and maybe banks the logs for you or something. Once you have chopped down the idol and it's giving you the buff though, just hop welds. When you hop welds, it will just replenish all of the vines and that way you can just do it over and over and over and over again. Very easy, very simple and good XP. I love it. 60 invention, here I come, I guess. I get to cipher my hatchet first time here and 43 inventions so far. Let's keep going. 72 farming with player own farms, one level away and I can start growing my own lantern dimes eventually for herb lore gains. That elite took no time. That was pretty quick. Okay, now are we gonna get something good is the question. So the super restores and the dragon helm are decent. Mahogany planks we can like unnote sometime maybe? I don't know. It seems okay. The unicorn horns aren't great and the grapevine seed I don't really care for. The other four things are decent. The Zamorak arrows can be used as ammunition because we're nearly level 50. Plus they're good for a Zamorak item at Krills so that's also something. Not bad. We're doing pretty well. There's a decent amount of XP. 100k an hour right now and we have 64 prayer, 58 dungeoneering, 57 Agility, two gift offerings, 900 feathers. Those feathers can sell for 400 GP each. So that's a decent amount of GP there as well. Pretty good. The feathers of marts that I got from Shifting Tombs can be sold to the Sophonim Slayer dungeon guy. The guy who's standing outside the dungeon buys them for 450 GP each, which isn't bad at this stage on my Iron Man. So I could sell the ones I got for over 400k and I'm absolutely ecstatic with that. That's a lot of money. Pays for some more shop runs or whatever I need. I made this draw poll in a previous Hardcore Iron Man episode asking if I should buy extra lives or not. It was a very, very big, overwhelmingly yes. 77% of people said buy the extra lives, 23% didn't. Because there's so many people saying yes, buy it. I don't mind buying them. That means I'll speak to Mr. X now, pay 100k for an extra life, now that I'm a thousand total. 1,600 plus total, which I am as well, I can spend 10 mil on another extra life eventually if I need to. But now if I die, I'll lose everything I'm wearing and in my inventory except for my free kept items, which is a really big, big setback for this account anyway. But I'd keep my hardcore Iron Man status, which is cool. Now I've got my extra life, we can do something a bit more scary at times, right? And that is it for this episode. My stats are on screen now and we've gained a lot this episode. We gained a hell of a lot of dungeoneering, agility, prayer woodcutting, invention, and loads and loads of just smaller skills. Our skills are very well rounded on this account and I'm very happy with that. Most of our skills are 50 plus now, we've got some just under 50. And it's going amazingly, I'm very much enjoying this account, 1726 total level. Next episode I think I'm going to push for 60 invention. Pushing for 60 invention unlocks the machines which means I can bank stuff and do stuff that I normally wouldn't be able to with extra inventory space. 
and all around just very excited. So I'm looking forward to doing all of this on this account and I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, give the video a like and until next time, see ya.